Yes, it's time for another game to play at the Roanoke Pinball Museum. That's right, this time it will be 1970 Snow Derby by Gottlieb. And um, just in case you'd like uh, a souvenir, you like what we're doing here at the museum, just let me know, send me a private message, and I can send you one of these shirts, $25 a piece, including shipping, because that's the, that's the uh, pandemic special. Uh, but anyway, we will be happy to send you one of these if you would like to show your pinball support on the trail, maintaining your distance from everybody. So uh, that, is, that is that. But Snow Derby, it's not winter right now, but uh, nevertheless, this game, first of all, you'll notice one thing about it. These colors, this is not the original factory colors. Why not? I'll tell you why. Because this was best EM of TPF, Texas Pinball Festival 2016. Why? Well, this is one of the reasons why. We did not keep the original color, because I don't know if you've seen this game or not, originally. It has this yellow and white and kind of tequila sunrise kind of a look. And it's, what does that have to do with it? You see snow, you see this, this purple ribbon here, you know, like what? So instead of white with, with black webbing, we went with blue with white webbing, like snow. And so as much as the, you know, we've had some purists come up to this and go, I hate repaints, not original, but looking at it, I'm trying to hate it, and I can't. That's the best, that's the worst, best, worst compliment we've gotten, is that even for the purist, it's like, I, I think that's kind of how that should look. And so when you do a little substitution, little hacks, little upgrades to your games, if you do it in the spirit of the original, if you, if you really, really strive to look for those little shortcuts, you'll find that there are ways you can improve on the factory because they were just hammering them out. You know, they weren't perfect. This is we we have room to creatively interpret sometimes. But anyway, the original paint was already gone anyway, so we tried something different and it worked. So Snow Derby, 1970. Did you know that this game has a feature that makes it special? You know what that feature is? Yes, it is the first game to have a bonus countdown at the end of the ball. That's right. First game, so drain the ball, whatever bonus you stack up counts down and you score it at the end of the game. How cool is that? This is, this is where it all began. So obviously a very popular feature and a lot of other games um, did incorporate that as time goes on. So anyway, Snow Derby, this is the two player version of um, what is the four player uh, Snow Queen, which has the four, but I, I tend to, in my own personal collection, I like to go for the two players because of the uh, more artwork you can kind of see and, and fewer score reels to rebuild. So, so we're going to go through this one. Uh, this is from my personal collection, but it's also here at the Rona Pinball Museum currently uh, for play. And uh, it has been clear coated, so it does play uh, a little bit faster and, of course, looks amazing. And uh, what else? We have um, given it the stealth LED treatment. So LEDs here and LEDs underneath, but regular filament bulbs on top. So that's just kind of my favorite little recipe. So anyway, let's play a two-player game. This one's pretty simple compared to the others. It's not, uh, no, no uh, secrets or anything like that. Basically, it's a five ball game. And as you play uh, on ball one, none of the holes up here are lit. Uh, to give you any kind of bonus um, and none of the pops are lit so it's ball one is a very low scoring ball and then ball two one of these lights up and then ball three two of them lights up and ball four you get the idea and and um, and each lap that you make is worth 50 points but on ball four each lap is worth a hundred points and on ball five each lap is worth 200 points. That's right, that old Gottlieb double bonus at the end. So uh, maybe this is the game that inspired that. I don't know. But anyway, um, so the game kind of starts off like a game of Settlers of Catan. You, you kind of, everybody has nothing, and then it just goes into this finale, this grand finale at the end. You never know who's going to win. So there's always a chance to come back from behind on Snow Derby if you have a 
a poor showing, and uh, you can usually come back and win if you do really well in ball four and five. So let's play a two-player game. Just take it, take it for a spin. Let's go. All right, two-player, and go. So generally, you want to. Oh my gosh. You know, it looks like it's going to be a pretty easy game. Because there's like, well, the ball doesn't look like it's going to go out that. That's, that's a pretty narrow out lane. And, you know, that's not that wide. Seems like it should be a pretty easy game. But it's not. It's pretty darn difficult. So, player two. Looks can be deceiving. So we get that, oh yeah, we get that 50 point. And that advances the, uh, the, the lap counter. Die. So you hit that, and that every time you go around, you get a you get a lap. Uh huh. That's right. That's right. Err. Oh, too early there. All right. Let's try and trap it and take a shot. There we go. Oh, oh, back through. Pretty good ball one here. 420 points. You can figure out what that means. Okay, maybe some of you are having a, a day reminiscing of that number. All right, look at this, it just keeps going. Okay, whoa, kind of hard to play from an angle here. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're still getting, this. oh my gosh, this is like, oh wow, that almost never happened. So we already have seven laps times 50, that's gonna be worth 350 points already. That's gonna put us, you know, Almost over a thousand already in ball one, which is pretty good. I have never rolled this game before. It's a very difficult game to roll. I think the highest I've ever gotten was like 7,000 or so. So we'll see. Maybe this will be the one. Only 10 points for a non lit kick out hole. Two, player one, let's go. And now you see two holes. No, still just the one kick out hole. Sorry. It's still the same setup as ball one up there. Every lap worth 50 points. Oh, down the middle. Nothing you can do about that. All right, ball two. And again, like I was saying, the first hole up there is lit for 50 points. Uh, which is one, two, three, four, five positions on the lap counter. And then as the game progresses, the other ones will light up. I think that last hole, uh, the bulb went out on it. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on up there. But it's not supposed to be lit yet. Okay, here we go. See if we can add to our commanding lead already. Cool. Yes, we can. And player one, ball three. Now you can see those are starting to light up there, and we have a lit pop for the first time. So now it's 10 points per hit up there. So it gets a little more generous as the time runs out. Ah, if only life could be that way. Oh my gosh, darn it. Life kind of works in reverse. It's like everything is lit, and then things start kind of disappearing as you play. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, now ball four, you can see, uh, we now have 100 points that we get per lap every time we go around. And all the pops are lit, and three out of the four holes at the top are lit. So we'll see what's going on with five. Okay. 
some lost ground here. Twelve thirty one versus seventeen fifty six. Of course, it's player two's ball. Ball four. There we go. Ooh. Oh, see now. Oh, there's only seven hundred ish point difference there. Each lap is worth two hundred. Ball five and all yeah, that light out there looks like it's out, so I'll have to figure out what's going on up there. But anyway, they're all good for fifty points at the top. Didn't get a single one. Okay, get back up there. There you go. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh no! That's nothing. Just one. Oh, and that's it. Well, now let's see how good player two can do. It's been real stingy with those kickout holes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's just embarrassing. 1990 to 1525. Well, um,. Darn, not quite an amazing blowout this time, but uh, pretty solid Gottlieb multiplayer. Uh, got, got your spinners, got the kickouts that build up, and it's really good um, two-player game because as those point values climb up, the, the advantage tends to shift back and forth as the game goes on. So again, it's got a good rule set, and it's really fun to play with a friend, so I, uh, that's why I picked it. But. Anyway, um, thanks again for spending another day with us here at the Roanoke Pinball Museum, and um, we'll keep doing this as long as you guys like. And anyway, send me a message if you'd like a t-shirt, and I'll make sure that gets sent out to you. And hope you're staying safe, and uh, all the best.